guys, welcome back to Record That. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode. This week, we try a science experiment in our mouths. Get a little sciencey. All right, y'all, so this week we're gonna be talking a little bit about some uh, chili peppers and some mouthwash. Um, a fun fact about these peppers, this is a habanero, um, capsaicin is an active component of all chili peppers, which are plants belonging to the genus capsicum. Uh, it's an irritant for mammals, including humans, and it, produ it produces like a, a deep burning sensation to any tissue it, uh, it comes into contact with. Menthol is a chemical crystallized compound, that's the stuff that's in this mouthwash, that derives from peppermint. The peppermint effect that causes one to feel a cold, soothing sensation is actually all menthol, as we stated, and this is the same thing as capsicum or capsaicin. Uh, the, they're all chemical compounds. They cause these sensations of uh, burning and freezing. Menthol tricks the brain using voltage-gated ion channel protein called TRPM8 into thinking the peppermint application is cold when in fact it is actually only room temperature. Uh, if you eat large enough quantities of capsaicin, it may turn your skin blue, all right? So I'm not the tallest person. Like so a I, Smurf? Like a Smurf. I'm not the tallest person. So if I'm walking <laughs> around the street with this stuff in my system, people might mistake me as a Smurf. As scary as pepper is, menthol actually uh, can be scary as well because there's such a thing called menthol overdose. It is possible to ingest too much menthol. Symptoms to watch for could include blood and urine, no urine output, rapid breathing, shallow breathing, <laughs> abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, rapid heartbeat, convulsions, dizziness, tremor, loss of consciousness, and unsteady walking. So if we exhibit any of these symptoms, we're pretty much in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but it's low dosage. You have to uh, consume a lot of these. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's challenge. All right, how this challenge is going to work. We do have milk just in case things go awry. Hopefully I I we don't. don't. I don't. I don't have milk. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is all brain. So we're going to take a swig of this mouthwash. We're actually going to ingest it. Um, and then we're going to follow it up by a pepper. And uh, we're going to see how long we can uh, hold this in our mouth. Um, without either throwing up or see what kind of reaction. This is a science experiment. We're doing this so you guys don't have to. So go ahead, man. Kick us off. Right, 30 seconds. We got to swish it around. 30 seconds right. and then swallow. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to sit back and relax and enjoy 30 seconds of awkward silence. Twenty. Twenty-one. <laughs> Thirty. <coughs> I've never <coughs> swallowed mouthwash. No. Three, two, one, go. Stim it off. <laughs> Did you hear my pop? <laughs> I did. Okay, cool. So far, it's balancing out just like I thought. Not for me. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. This might work. It's all in the name of science. <clears throat> it We're trying to trick our brain. It didn't work for me. Into thinking the hot and cold factor is not working. Nah, nah, dude. Nah. Mm -mm. <sighs> nope. This is a bad idea. I can do the milk. Oh, wait, I'm gonna drink it first. Ah! And he did. 
So I'm good. So I won this week. This is for science. My ears are on fire. Man, I hate hot stuff so bad, dude. <laughs> The seeds are in the back and you didn't even eat it! Yes, I did. I see it in there! I swallowed most of it. Bro! We need more milk. I am on fire. I am on fire. Oh, that's a lot colder. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. I won this week. <sighs> I won this week. What's the series up to? Five? Five to two or five to three? Five, to, five three to one. Here's the we tied ones. Uh. <laughs> My tongue, it, dude, and when I talk, it's like adding oxygen to a fire. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> oh, it hurts. I can't handle it. I wonder, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to do anything, man. I wonder, maybe. <laughs> yeah. He likes the dog. Science has proven that the polarity of Menthol and menthol and capsaicin. Capsaicin. <clears throat> These two components, <clears throat> they don't agree with each other. We we wanted to find out if they would balance out. They don't. In fact, it made things worse. But <clears throat> we learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. Nature wins again. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, <clears throat> don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to share with all your friends on social media family members. Don't forget to check out our Twitter and Facebook page. And until next week, bump it, my Smurf, bro. <laughs>